welcome to my first YouTube video. My name is Isis and today we're going to be repotting some of my plants. So first we're going to uh, pot some propagations that I have. These are golden pothos. They were taken from their mother plant about a month ago and they're doing really well. I think it's about time for me to repot them. They're um, getting really long roots so I'm excited for that. With pothos, you want to make sure you have a lot instead of just like one leaf so that it vines out and like goes everywhere. Also, I'm sitting inside. I plan to do this outside, but my neighbors are outside and they they have kids and there's construction going on. So I thought maybe that wasn't the best. So just my kittens running around. Um, because they live here too. This is my alocasia African mask. Um, I put it in this pot and the baby leaves actually started dying. So I think, unfortunately, that the pot is too big. So what I'm going to do is change it with my peace lily pot because its roots are starting to come out of the bottom. So hopefully that'll help. I have soil perlite and down here I have peat moss. The cats are going to be troubled during this, I already know. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to start with the pothos first. I'm super excited. This one actually, while it was in here, grew another little leaf. It's all cute and very shiny and green, so I'm really excited to see how this one grows. There's only two leaves in here with the golden variegation, but I'm hoping as I give it more sun, the new leaves that come out will have it as well. The only reason I'm okay with repotting inside is because I have a vacuum. Or else my boyfriend would get so mad at me. But we're just gonna go for it. So for my pothos, I'm pretty much just going to use the soil because they don't really care too much about where they live. They're so interested in what I'm doing. It's annoying. I cut them about a month ago, I would say. I changed the water out of their cups every week, a couple days, really whenever I could remember, honestly. And it didn't take them too long to grow, so I'm pretty proud of them and how far they have come. So I'm pretty much just going to take soil. I kind of disperse them out a little bit like this. So it gives them more room to grow new leaves and kind of vine out a bit more. Rather than just clumping them all together. Just pack them down like this. And since your propagations are in water um, until you plant them, it is important to make sure that the soil is very moist for at least a couple days to a week and then you can start watering them like regular just because they're used to being in a really moist environment and then they're going into soil which is pretty dry and they're already kind of going through a shock so you don't want to make that another shock. I've had this uh, mother plant for about a year now and yeah about a year and a half and when I first got it it was a bit bigger than this one about three feet long <laughs> so she's vining really well everywhere which is super exciting I love pothos they're an easy to care for plant and you don't really have to worry about forgetting to water them. Um, they really can withstand whatever. But if you get a variegated one, like I have the golden pothos, then you wanna make sure that they get sunlight so they can actually show off those variegations. Like see, some of these don't, cause when I moved, there wasn't a lot of light, but it'll come back. Next is my alocasia African mask. Um, I love this plant. The uh, leaves 
kind of look like dragon heads, which I think is really cool. These plants like high humidity, so you can see if the leaves start to crisp like this, that actually means that they need more humidity. But these leaves can grow giant. I got mine a couple of weeks ago, and it actually had three baby leaves on it. Um, I thought one died because of shock, but these two are starting to die as well, unfortunately. And since I have given it everything it needs, humidity, light, water, I can, <laughs> I can pretty much attest that it is because the pot is too big, because most alocasias like to be more root bound rather than some other plants. So I'm just going to assume that that is the issue. All of the bigger leaves are fine, so I think it might just be that these little babies are in shock. And that's why they're dying off. So I'm gonna pot it into a small, whoa, hey. I'm gonna pot it into a smaller pot and hopefully that'll help it put out new leaves because there's no new growth as of yet. So I'm trying to think about how to do this without making a giant mess. <laughs> I didn't plan this part out very well. I expected it to be outside. So yeah, you can see the amount of roots that were in this size of the pot. It would be fine for maybe like a less picky plant, but since these guys are just so picky, it's not gonna work. <laughs> Peace Lily is gonna come out. My Peace Lily actually yesterday, all of the leaves were drooping all the way down. It looked so depressing and I gave her a good watering and she's fine now. These plants are so dramatic when they're thirsty, but at least they can tell you. Whoa, oh my gosh. So I got this peace lily last week, actually. Look at that, that's crazy. I did not know there was that root bound in here. God, it's gonna go great in this pot then. All that room to grow, wow. So you do have to be careful with peace lilies. Obviously I have cats. Um, these plants are toxic to cats. So what that means is keep it high up, keep it away from them. And after you handle the plant, make sure to wash your hands thoroughly. So for the alocasia, I'm going to put potting soil down. And this is mixed with some perlite and some other stuff just because I just dumped it back in the soil, but None of it's going to hurt any of the plants. I'm going to grab some perlite. And with perlite, you want to be careful not to breathe it in. Um, it's not the best for you. So, we're just going to go like this. I'll shake it around. Make a mess everywhere. It's fine. I pay the bills. I can put dirt in my floor. I added some peat moss. You do not need peat moss. I just use it because it is good to hold the moisture, but make sure that it's not like soaking the roots of the plant because you don't want that. It also holds on the nutrients, doesn't let it drain out as quickly as if you were just using soil. So we're going to put right here. Yeah, I think, I think that'll be a much better fit. Hopefully she's happy because honestly, if not, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Honestly, I might just give up. Look at that. I didn't even put any soil or anything in here yet. And she fits. So, this is gonna be perfect. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to take soil, some peat moss to help the nutrients because we want her to flower again, obviously. That's why we buy peace lilies, right? And I'm going to take a lot of perlite, more than you might expect, because they love aerated soil. Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> My cat's in the way, I'm sorry. Peace lily, I would say half soil, half perlite is probably your best bet. Oh, I also have this, you don't need this, 
but it's kind of like a fertilizer. I'm hoping to use it to help the plant flower again. Here, let me show you actually. It's African Violet. Um, it's premium, I guess. <laughs> it says ideal for all indoor flowering plants. Um, so, peace Lily. This isn't mandatory, but I am using it in hopes that it will flower again because I know when you buy them from the nursery, they usually give it some type of growth hormone or something for it to flower that first time because it looks more aesthetically pleasing to customers than just the foliage. And then you buy it thinking that you'll get a plant that flowers a lot and then the flower dies off and it never flowers again. So, we don't want that to happen. You can see with mine that the flower is turning green. That actually means that the flower is going to die soon, <laughs> which I'm not excited for. They usually turn green um, when it's near the end of their life or if they're not getting enough sunlight. But I know that this one is getting pretty good sun so it's because she's gonna die soon. I'm really excited by the fact that she was root bound in that other pot because that means hopefully she will grow bigger in this one. Look at her, she's kind of uneven, but that doesn't matter to me. <laughs> so that was all three of them. I still have extra part of life left over. I made a giant mess in my living room so that you guys could watch me repot, so I hope you enjoyed. And if you like this video, or if you're a fellow plant parent as well, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button because every week I'll be giving plant tips, tricks, and just some care. And we can just hang out and talk about plants. See you guys later. Dirty hands.